Hi everybody, it's really good to be back. I'm sorry I didn't have a video last week, I've not been feeling very well, but I didn't want to disappoint you again, so today we've got a real treat. I'm going to be showing you how to make vegan pancakes with peach compote. Don't be frightened by that word. Peach compote is literally just peaches chopped up and stewed in a little bit of maple syrup and some spices. Easy, huh? And in this video, I'm going to use something that I don't normally use in my videos, which is a meat substitute. Specifically, this isn't bacon. So there are two reasons why I'm choosing to use a meat substitute with the recipe today. First of all, the recipe doesn't depend on the meat substitute. You can do everything that I'm doing and just miss out the meat substitute and it will still be delicious. The second reason is, although my channel's for everybody, I know there's some vegans watching, and when you first start going vegan, you do have cravings for things that you used to miss. Sometimes that could be meat. If you're having bacon cravings, I really, really recommend this. Also, their chicken nuggets are pretty good too. So let's get to it. For the pancakes, you're gonna need plain white flour, sugar. I'm using coconut sugar, but regular caster sugar or white sugar is fine too. Baking powder, salt, non-dairy milk, I'm using a mixture of coconut milk and soy milk, apple cider vinegar, why are we always running out of everything, and vanilla extract. For the peach compote, you're going to need some peaches. I'm using flat peaches because they were on offer in Tesco. Nutmeg, cinnamon, some dairy-free spread, and maple syrup. And as I mentioned, it's optional, but if you want to give your pancakes that something little extra special, then you can also have your this is bacon to add on at the end. So now I'm gonna make my pancake batter and chop up my peaches. So I'm all set and ready to cook now. I've got my batter here that needed to rest for about five minutes just to let the baking soda do its work. I've got all my ingredients for my peach compote here and I'm gonna get that stewing while the pan for the pancakes gets heated up. I've also got the oven on on a low heat so that I can put the pancakes in there when they're ready and it keeps them warm until I'm ready to eat them. So let's look at our compote. So for my compote, I'm going to start adding uh, a spoon of my non-dairy butter. I'm going to put all my peaches in there. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Give it a little bit of a mix and leave that to stew and reduce down. Now the compote is happily bubbling away, I'm going to start cooking my pancakes. And you're going to flip it. The compote's pretty much done. When the peaches got soft enough, I was able to mash them with a potato masher. And now I've got this really lovely sauce. I'm gonna let it reduce a little bit more and then my compote's done. Finally, I'm gonna do the bacon. So here are my pancakes. I've layered them with the pancakes, peach compote and the bacon, but you can put it on however you want. The pancakes didn't rise as much as I'd like them to. I used gluten-free flour because I'd run out of regular flour. These work best with regular flour. Enough talking, let's give them a taste. Pancakes and bacon is just meant to be. I'm gonna put the link to a Bosch recipe that I like to use using smoked tofu and maple syrup. You can make your own bacon, that's if you can't find this. Or just have the pancakes on their own with peach compote. So that's it from me. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe. And leave a comment if there's something that you want me to make a vegan recipe video for. See you next week.